Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part two of episode 45. Yeah, I'm not right next to the train where I said I would be, because on the way there, our Gardramon finally reached max level. And we can go to Andromon, or Datamon, or Metal Mamemon. Ah. I mean, this one is... This one is... Blocked out. Hmm, Andromon is super cool, but... We haven't seen this one, and it is a defense type, whatever this is, but it changes from virus to data. Hmm, we probably need to put more data types in our team, because we're kinda losing them all. Yeah, but I'll take this one. Gardramon digivolves to... Another Mamemon. Catch Mamemon. Okay. <laughs> uh, yet again, like, such a dingy little thing, and it's an ultimate type. Hmm. Miracle Bomb. Physical attack, 130 fire damage, and crystallizing attack occurs at random. And he cannot fall asleep. <laughs> I like the little lightning tattoo the Mamemon has on its eye. It's a nice touch. But yet again, an electric type Digimon with, with fire moves. Yeah, the cam is at 100. Hmm. It can go to Justimon. And has enough ABI for it as well. Justimon. Hmm. Do I even want that? And we have a Platinum Sukamon here. Interesting. Rare Metal. Oh god. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll stick with, with Catch Mamemon for a little bit. Oh wait, we can actually see how much ABI it gets, right? Because Catch Mamemon has 24 and Gardramon would have 28. Which is not much, so I'll get a few levels before de digivolving it again. And yeah, okay. I have to swap up my team a little bit, because we need some... Some... Oh god, that's a rookie type. We need some viruses up in here. Garurumon Black. Uh, maybe it's also just a champion. Golemon is a champion. Etemon is an ultimate. We can have Etemon on the team. And no, those are also champion types. Yeah. Okay, then let's put Atomon on our team. Mm, maybe for Bergramon? Exceeds party memory, okay. Look at our party for a second. Hmm. Not an Armon was an ultimate, War Grandmon was an ultimate. Let's put Birdram on here. Nanimon here and then where was it? Etimon into the party. Okay, like this.
Okay, ladies and gents, I hope this wasn't too long. Back on track to the tracks for the train. Was that even right? No. The tracks were down here and to the side. Yes, here. Okay, great. Closer than you think. Okay. Just dropping down the save. Because that looks particularly unpleasant. Okay, I see... I see Andromons, if I can make that out correctly. Andromon was data type? So we should be fine with our virus lineup here. And then let's swap out Andromon for another virus. Oh, catch, catch Mamamon isn't a virus anymore, okay. That is good to know. Okay, like this. Hmm. Oh no, those aren't Andromons. Those are just the upgraded eaters. Hmm. In that case, we probably shouldn't have a level 8 Etemon with us. Hmm. Yeah, Hippogriffmon. And Wargromon with Ginryomon. Like this? Okay. Wow! The hero <laughs> arrives just in time! <sighs> Too late. Again. As always. Dang! If only I had more power! Ooh. Dotted immediately. That's not good. Okay, but they can heal themselves, and since I have no clue what Dot does, I better get rid of it. Sprite recovery. Removes Dot. Oh, defense down. Nice one, Arata. Oh, they can't use skills, that's what Dot does. Hippogriffmon. Please use a sprite recovery. On yourself, please. And now we have Ginnerimon with Metal Armor Blade. Puka Spear! Spirit Crash. Oh, drains SP. Oh, but Matadamon is back to normal. Great. Just in time for an Earth Shattering Storm? No, probably not. Hmm. Okay, neutral damage, light damage, wind damage. What did Heatwave do? No, to all foes. Sonic Void for the type advantage. Oh, that does almost nothing. And wait, didn't I change my lineup to be... Oh no, I changed it back. I didn't change it to all, to all viruses. Okay, Ginnerimon is our DPS baby here. Data's converging, that's not good. Okay, Matadormon. You have enough health for you to be a useful healer. And you will be... It will be your turn bef No, not if I do that. Okay. Uh, and then... Let's take an SP spray for our Ginryumon. Like this. Great. And guard. And guard. And guard. Wait. Oh. I couldn't have gone to Ginnerimon at all. Oh, oh. Okay, good good thing that it didn't get attacked. Hmm. 
Matadormon do a destruction cannon. Hmm. All of those are pretty useless. So I'll go with speed charge for Kinryomon. <laughs> Another mental break field. He really wants to prepare for something. Okay, good. And you... Uh, I, I mean, I hope this is enough, so... He didn't do his data converging thing yet. And this is a physical attack, so it shouldn't do too much. Hmm. Next Ginryumon should be... Curtains. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. Interesting. And the last hit goes to Inferno Mod. Okay, that was neatly done. I don't know if this is a Dauntlet or not. Catch Mamamon got Shock, Hellcrusher won. Those are baby skills. No. do Hey, what do you think, Hecto? Question mark? Do these things even have any sense of intellect? They just eat and eat like crazy. Hmm. Arata kinda got the evil eyes here. Don't go on a crusade, man. What could their purpose possibly be? Allow me to answer that for you. Cut the crap, man! Always showing up whenever you feel like it! And you, are you sitting back watching this disaster unfold like it's a form of entertainment? Observation and analysis are a researcher's duty. I go where I must. I am merely silent as I go. I mean true. True? It is a good thing to observe the situation calm, calmly and not lose your head. But still, do you have to phrase it like that? You also have a fascination with eaters, I see. And you're researching them. Do you know what the eaters are after? <laughs> yes, you are definitely fascinated with them. I thought if anyone would be, it'd be you. This may take some time, but out of respect for your intellectual curiosity, allow me to share my research with you to date. By the way, Arata, why do you eat? What is your goal in this act? My goal? That's kind of a random question. There's no real goal in eating. If I don't eat, I'll die. I'm a living creature. 
Oh, so he's using, like, the Socrates principle. Asking guiding questions so you arrive at your own answer. That's probably what he's doing here. That's right! We eat to live. Now then, why do humans live? That's easy enough. We don't want to die, right? I mean, technically, the sense of life is biological reproduction, but... I mean... That's just a biological instinct. Riding on the sparks of emotion and logic. Think on a more rudimentary level. So he's going for reproduction as well? Yes. Creatures live to save their progeny. This is why we adapt our environments while passing down our genes. In other words, it is an evolutionary imperative. Evolution? Exactly! And in that regard, humans and eaters are identical. Eaters parse and absorb what they've eaten as data. They have the power to overwrite that data as well. This is the phenomenon known to you as the bugging of data. This is merely one reaction to that ability. But bugging is chaos. And DNA... I mean, like, is he talking about remixing of DNA in a chaotic principle? Maybe. Hmm. Because bugging makes data unusable. It, it changes it from its ordered form and turns out garbage. So, yeah, but maybe, maybe he's saying the eaters are, like, leading up to something. They are trying and trying to do, like, a random process with their bugging and hoping to achieve some sort of sensible outcome. Oh, ma maybe he'll illuminate me right now. But the true powers of eaters lies not in bugging. Their true power lies in their ability to take the data they have absorbed and restructure it within themselves. By consuming their targets, they overwrite themselves and are reborn as a new life. And that, in other words, is evolution. Eaters are continuing to evolve as they devour their prey. Uh, it's not really evolution, it's more like upgrading. Right? Because evolution, they, they don't split themselves or have children, right? They just upgrade themselves. So they're eating in order to evolve? So this! That's right! Life for eaters is evolution! Only by continuing to evolve do they live on. Don't you find that such a marvelous ability? This is what the study of life is all about. 
あらゆる存在が進化のケーキなのです。For eaters, all of existence is a chance to evolve. それがたとえ現実とデジタルを隔てる壁であろうとも彼らにとってはとんなる餌でしかない。Take the wall separating reality from the digital away. They don't care. To them, it's all just food. And Eater's ability to hunt down prey allows them to achieve in an instant what has taken man an eternity. 進化のためにイーターに次元の壁を食わせたってのか You allowed eaters to eat the dimensional wall 何をするつもりなんだ So they could evolve? What are you and Kishibe up to? 確かに私は Kishibe さんに協力していました当面の目的は一致していましたからね Yes, I did work with Miss Kishibe It's true Our goals were aligned for a time Implying that you have different ones now? Yes, sir. What I took Shibe Sanga Moktekio Nazi State Tanoa Jigen no Kabe no Hokai Made. But that extended as far as the collapse of the dimensional wall. Okay, so we finally get confirmation. Suido was actually responsible for that and absolutely intended it. So he. Kind of like likes what the eaters do and maybe wants to adapt it for humans. That's the only goal I can see here because, like, just by studying an apocalyptic life form that seeks to devour you, like, like just for the sake of it, it doesn't really make sense. So he, he needs to get something out of it. Maybe he wants to upgrade humanity or something like that. That seems like an appropriately evil goal. The gen no tobira o hiraku to kyogen s t e i m a s t a n As Kishibe herself put it, she wanted to open the dimensional door. Watashi wa kabe no hou ga shikkuri kuru n desu yo ne. Aimi teki ni wa tobira demo onaji desu ga, chushou teki ni sugi de tatta. I was more interested in the wall. Semantically, they're the same. Once you go past the abstract. Wall door portal, it's all the same. Never mind all that. Are you saying you had another agenda? <laughs> Once the eaters erode the wall. The border between our world and the digital world will be history. And yeah, he, he has to be responsible for the eaters then as well. No, that really doesn't make sense. Because how would he know of the digital world in the first place? Because if he created the eaters, then why would he be so fascinated with them that he wants to study them? He could not have created them, they, they need to be like a byproduct. Of, of Eden. Hmm, it's kind of weird. I'll let them continue for now. Kekka! Gengis Sekai wa digital world no eikyo wo uke, jiwoji digital shift shi suzuke mo! The real world will feel the effects of the digital world as digital shifts continue. Real to digital no kanzen na ru yu! It will be a complete merging of the real and the digital. Think of what will be possible when that happens. I mean, true. It's kind of immoral that you make that choice for the rest of humanity, but, but true. The only problem I see here, Suedo, is that you achieve this by means of. Like a parasitic life form that seeks to consume both the real and the digital world. So you basically created your own apocalypse that ensures you'll never get to reap the rewards for what you have been planning. It 
It's not a question of what will be possible. Any and all things will be possible. It will be possible to modify the real world at will, like overwriting a program in the digital world. Yeah, but should everyone have that power? Like making every every human in the world a reality bender? Like just look at the S SCP Foundation and they'll tell you why that is a bad idea. Until you achieve the perfection you desire over and over again. That's your goal. It's it sounds like you're talking about the very evolution of the, of the human race itself. That is one way to put it. To gain new power, we could call that evolution, I suppose. Oh no, oh no. Arata was just saying how he wants more power. Will he join Suido? Won't he join Suido? Find out after I've pressed the A button. To gain new power. If there's something you want to be capable of, if you want to achieve Nirvana. Chow down on something with the power and, re and rewrite yourself. That is the funda fundamental means through which evolution occurs. One would be remiss to bemoan his situation while doing nothing to change it. What about you, Arata? What will you do? What do you want? What will you become? Who? Me? Don't do it, Arata! Uh, he can't hear me. Because I'm mute. By the way, Arata... Uh, what is it? Is there something that... You had best be careful. Huh? Huh? Behind you. Question mark? Those who cannot evolve will be weeded out. You mustn't dawdle. Oh boy. Arata, no! The plot bullet got you. That's me. Those are the other... other kids. Well then, Arata, I'm glad you're back. You finally stand at the crossroads of evolution, and it would be for nothing if you were to simply vanish. Oh, he got absorbed by the Eater? Why isn't the Eater attacking Suido? Oh no, he's back again. How do you feel? Uh, I... What the... You go? Question mark? 
Well, I'll be. Why? But I... Nothing has changed. I'm just some kid unable to protect anyone. Yep, it is as I suspected. He, as well as I, were... Subjects in Suedo's little experiment at the Eden Beta. Ah, Harata, are you feeling sad now? <laughs> dot dot dot. It's alright now. Soon. Your sadness will be gone for good. My sadness will be gone? Oh no. Mind control too, electric boogaloo. Come with me, Arata. Together. We can push this incomplete world to a new stage. And in doing so, make your wishes come true. You're worried about me. I understand. You and I have been buds for a long time. But there's something big I've still got to do. And in order to take care of things, I need more power. That's Anakin talking. Don't do it! Well spoken, Arata. I respect the nobility of your spirit and your bravery in the face of change. <laughs> you are perfectly suited to this new phase of human evolution. If you wish it, there is no power you could not attain. Dot dot dot. Is that truly what you desire? Oh god, I, I haven't done Kyoko in so long. But yay, Kyoko's back! Kyoko, what are you doing here? Who are you? Could you kindly leave us be? He has already decided the path he is to walk. What do you think, Arata? This is power! I made a wall that is barely three meters wide and that you can walk around immediately. Isn't it amazing? You can rewrite programs that would modify the very rules of the world in real time. And that is but the faintest taste of it. Sorry, my mind's made up. I'm going. Dot, dot, dot. Are you sure you won't regret this? I've already been regretting something this whole time. Gasp! Don't. His will is strong. 
It's pointless to say anything now. Kimi ga ima subeki koto wa nanda. Watashi no joshi nara, kotaete mita mae. What do you need to be doing now? Answer as my assistant. Dot dot dot. Slowly but surely, I'll find a solution at lightning speed. Mattaku imi ga wakaran ga. I have no idea what you just said. Kimi ra shii kotae dewa aru. Sono kotae ga ikanaru ketsumatsu o michibiku ka. Tashikameru to shiyo. But it was a very you response. Let's see what conclusions that response leads us to, shall we? Ima wa fukao ishite mo shikata ga nasa sou da. Ichido jimusho ni kaeru to shiyo. It'd do no good to chase them too far now. Let's return to the agency. Some exquisite coffee is waiting for us. That said, we won't have the time to savor it. But I'll have the time to save or it. Yeah, this'll be it for today, ladies and gents. <sighs> I, I hope we can trust Sarada to do the right thing in the end. And like just ride the Suido train until, until he's satisfied. But yeah, would be a shame if Arata turns like truly evil. Hmm. But yeah, it was it was an interesting episode that definitely brought the story forward by leaps and bounds. Which seems to be a theme for all those last couple ones. Yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed, ladies and gents, and I hope I see you in the next one, I guess. <laughs>